Okay, so where am I this week? Well, I'm house-sitting. I'm house-sitting for a friend, so that's why I'm not where I usually am, and I'm somewhere else. So, did I meet my goals this past week? Because I remember I was trying to work more on my goals. I'm going to say I met most of them. So, on my jobs, I applied for two jobs, and then I also had two interviews scheduled. They were jobs I hadn't applied for, and I only made it to one of them, but I'm going to say I, I did what I meant to do. On the first one, I had been kind of, sort of, not really interested in the company, but I was sort of trying. So um, I was getting ready for it when I got a phone call from my mother, and she was telling me that the car that's technically still mine has broken down, and it was it needed fixing, and her mechanic was trying to tell her it would be six hundred dollars, and I was kind of like, I'm trying to get ready for my interview, but after that, I just I was too stressed out to go on an interview, and I wasn't really in any kind of shape to try to make an impression, so I called and let them know I wasn't going to be able to make it. Well, that same day, technically during the time when I would have been in the interview, I got another phone call from another company that wanted to interview me. So I said, well, I messed up the last one, but maybe this one will be better. We'll try again. So this time, I went in for what was the first interview, and I wasn't really comfortable with the company, especially not the management. The guy seemed really religious. He mentioned religion on several occasions. And that really kind of gives you a flavor for what you can expect if you accept a job there. And I'm really not comfortable with religion in the workplace. So I decided that place wasn't for me. I also saw a lot of very bad practical problems. Like I looked up information about the company online. It seems like they didn't have sales territories or anything like that and they tended to send whoever, wherever. One employee complained he drove 40,000 miles in three months without any compensation for it, and then he was basically forced to quit because of car costs. Someone else complained that when he quit on bad terms that the company then turned around and screwed up his license and did something. I didn't completely understand what it was, but I know I don't want it done to me. And then there was somebody else. Anyway, it seemed like there were enough bad experiences with that particular company that I didn't want to gamble with it when Medicare season is just two or three months away. And I do have enough money for two or three more months. That was one of the things I analyzed. So I should be able to get that far at least if I don't find something else first. So what else do I have going on? Um, well, like I said, I'm house-sitting, and while I'm here, there's not really a whole lot that I can do. Oh yeah, my goals. I did work on my crystal cell. I'm not sure if the first one came out right or not. I didn't have time to analyze it, but I did put it together and make my first attempt at making one. So that is something, I guess. <sighs> But, well, at least the next attempt will not be terribly expensive. It'll be like three more dollars to buy another piece of copper. So that, at least, is something that's going well. I also got a resistor when I went to Radio Shack at the mall. So that is another opportunity for me to continue to explore my crystal cell and also my windmill, because I needed a resistor to be able to find the power on my windmill. Other than that, I really don't have a whole lot going on. It seems like every it seems like everything is just kind of smooth sailing for now. This week, I'm probably just gonna watch a lot of anime and relax. I might do a couple of practical things. I did bring my sketchbook so I can practice drawing, and I brought some language video not video audio files with me. I probably. We'll do some of them, maybe. 
maybe. I wasn't sure about them, but I brought them in case I do. Don't really have any firm goals this particular week. The one thing I didn't do last week was get the cardboard holder for my goals board done, since I had to buy those new pens. They don't fit in the old pen slot, but I'll do that next week, and I don't know what else. I'll figure out what my goals are for next week. Next week, The big thing that I did get to do that was exciting was I got Amy to show me how the ncworks.gov website works, so I should be able to look for work a little bit more effectively now. It certainly opens up new opportunities for me, and I've applied for several of the positions that my tutoring instructor boss person told me about. So it's it's something. Um, not really where I want to be in life, but it feels like I might be able to get there again. So I'm um, just hanging in there. See you all next week.